have you ever thought about making a traditional Christmas pudding with a twist? Today we're going to make a Christmas pudding that's got different fruits in it and also we've got the addition of dark and white chocolate. On the tray here I've got some dates, cranberries, figs, apricots, some pear, orange and some white and dark chocolate. We've got a cream sponge pudding mixture here and I've macerated some fruits for a couple of days in port and brandy and the fruits are now lovely and soft. So I'm going to add these in to my pudding and then just give them a really good mix through. Make sure they're all nice and mixed and then we're going to add in our dark and white chocolate. And then just mix that through. And that is then ready to go into our pudding basin. I've buttered and floured the basin to stop the pudding from sticking and we're just going to fill it three quarters of the way up. So now I'm going to get a piece of greaseproof paper and tin foil. I'm going to place a little pleat in the top and then I'm going to twist it around the top of this pudding bowl. The little pleat is for when the Christmas pudding cooks. If it rises, the pleat will open up and we'll be able to carry on cooking our pudding. And we're now going to place that in a steamer for three and a half hours until it's cooked. Rather than make the traditional brandy sauce, we're going to add in some Baileys into a chocolate sauce that's going to go really nicely with our Christmas pudding. You could also add in some star anise, cinnamon, orange zest, vanilla. All of these flavours would add an extra special bit to your sauce. I've brought the cream now to the boil and now I'm going to pour it over my chocolate. I'm just going to let it sit for a minute to soften and then I'm going to mix the chocolate in. I'm also going to add in my Baileys. And then we're just going to start gently stirring the two together until it becomes a nice chocolate sauce. So now the pudding's cooked, we're going to finish it off. We've just got a little bit of orange and brandy syrup here and I've warmed the syrup up and we're just going to soak the sponge. It just adds a little bit of extra flavour. Now if you made these in advance, you could soak them uh, a couple of times before they're actually served so the flavour really infuses into the pudding. And then we're going to place the pudding onto the plate and now we're going to pour the lovely chocolate and Bailey's sauce over the top. So there's a festive twist on the traditional Christmas pudding to delight your diners. Now, doesn't that look delicious? Mm -hmm.